uh, so our navigation area, uh, this is one of the adaptions we've had done uh, from fit out is the uh, chart table has been made uh, in such a way that we can actually fit a full size A3 chart on board as demonstrated. Uh, we have our chart plotter screen here, which is uh, a new Raymarine hybrid touch. So not only is it a touch screen uh, version, you can also just move your cursor along with the dial. Um, also on this setup, uh, because it's relatively well, it is one of the uh, the new systems. We can also have apps on board, so we can connect to Marina Wi-Fi, and then we can have a weather app, and we can actually download a forecast and save it onto the plotter uh, for up to seven days. So when we are out of range, we have the up-to-date forecast as of when we left the marina. Other things we can get on the chart plotter, um, we have a dashboard. Uh, and on that dashboard will give us, if we're putting in waypoints uh, or bearings to go to, it will give us the information on how to get there, uh, wind speed uh, and our depth and whichever else we need to put in. Um, all that information, uh, minus the actual chart itself, uh, can be repeated in the cockpit on our cockpit repeaters. We have three repeaters in the cockpit uh, and they're multifunctional displays. So again, we can select whether we want the wind on there, the depth on there, the speed on there, etc. Um, at the back of the nav station area, we have our Raymarine VHF. Um, on most boats, you'll probably find that they just have the one VHF set followed by a handheld. On here, we do have that, but we also have what they call a command mic in the cockpit, which means we can operate the VHF from the cockpit without actually having to come down below. Um, at the back, we have the good old trusty stereo. Everyone needs one of those. Uh, but then we have followed by a battery monitor which is set up so if our voltage goes a little bit low or anything like that uh, it sets an alarm off informing the crew and the skipper that we need to either plug into shore power or get the engine on um, and, and start charging our batteries.